Hey YouTube, welcome to Monaco Games. So, we are back with another Battlefield 5 fortification guide. The map we are having a look at today is Aerodome. Aerodome has six flags in conquest mode. We'll be having a look at each one starting from A. So let's get into it and I'll show you what's up. So this is point A, a pretty well fortified flag if you've got the time to do it. It has a ammo and health station here that you will need to build as well as plenty of fortifications that make it hard to attack coming from flag C or D. There's also a side entrance with a buildable trench that can be used to attack A which is pretty cool. The side entrance overlooks B so if the other team has captured B then expect to be attacked from that direction. Flag A is probably the most fortified position on the map, but not too much action actually happens here. First, it's really hard to get to coming from E. The long stretch on the right side of C between A and E is where people love to snipe from. As well as that tower in the corner of A. So running around A a little bit, you can see that there is a lot of open area, as well as a lot of fortifications that you can build to give you different areas to defend from. Here is like the first lines of defense. You can already see that the entrance is blocked off. By now I'm just giving building some more defenses to make it make it harder for them to attack from from the direction of E. Right here is the side entrance. I'm putting these down to stop tanks from being able to get in from this way. Finishing off my line of defense. This is the first line, it connects to the other side. So point A is a heavily fortified flag that doesn't see too much action because of it being too isolated and because of the sniper positions just outside of A. But if I had to make a last stand with my squad, this is where it would be. So before I move on to B, I just want to show you guys this little trench right outside of A that you could use to sneak up to A and to attack A from. Alright, so point B is north of A. It is an open area with a couple buildings for cover. It has pretty good fortifications that can be used to reinforce those buildings, as well as a trench to provide cover and to hide from outside. It has a turret overlooking B and is a pretty good position to attack the snipers from and the flag itself. So coming in from another entrance of B, you can see how open this area is and how good this trench would be fully fortified. So I definitely would fortify the direction coming from C as it is a highly contested area and you would have people running over there all the time if you had B captured. So B has a lot of trenches you can build up, a lot of positions you can defend from. I would definitely watch have someone watching the direction of C and definitely have someone watching the direction of A if it's not captured already. If A isn't captured already I would go and capture it using that little trench that I showed you in A's video. These sandbags I'm using to fortify the building behind me. If they happen to shoot a grenade launcher or a tank shoot a bullet at, at this building or hit those sandbags first and save the building. So you can use that building to hide in or use it for cover. Really you just want to pick a position depending on how many people you have in your squad and what points are being captured at the moment. If C was captured, right here is a good position to sit. If both C and A was captured, I would sit in the middle of the map or in that trench. Now flag C is the most contested point on the map. It's where you want to be if you favour close quarters combat and you want to stay away from those pesky snipers. The main fortifications are on each end of the point. Being a warehouse you can completely block off both of those large doors but cannot block off the doors in the hallways on each side. Outside each end of the point are buildable trenches that you would use to attack C from or you could use them for cover. So if you choose to defend C I recommend blocking off the direction the enemy is coming from. So if they own A I recommend blocking off at least that door. But if it was me, I would block off both doors and watch the side hallways for them to come in. There's a lot of broken up planes, trucks and whatnot around here to use as cover, as well as buildable fortifications like this one. 
on the outside though I'll show you some gameplay of me running around building the fortifications and showing you what you can use and what's viable so right here you can build a turret as long as you're a support class this turret overlooks B over there there's also a turret at, at B that overlooks C if you remember so this is the other side of the warehouse of C I'm just showing you the fortifications that are out here as well as the trenches that are out here too now this is a very dangerous area there's a lot of open ground a lot of places to hide and a lot of places for snipers to be too looking at the map you can see that E and D is just ahead of us E and D are pretty close together which is why this is a pretty contested area leading into C but I'll, I'll get to D real shortly so here we are at D right now D is right in the middle of C and E on the eastern side of the map close to the enemy spawn there's a lot of fortification to be done here probably more so than A but unlike A you can find a lot more action here so it can be a good idea for you and a squad to get the place fortified and dig in I guarantee you will rack up a lot of kills here there's a tower for a sniper, trenches in the direction of C and barbed wire fences plus sandbags surrounding the whole area of D for you to be safely defended so having another good look at D, there's a couple buildings around that you can use to hide in or use for cover. A lot of fortifications blocking off sneaky entrances. This is pretty much a close quarter area as well, a close to mid range area. It's a place I like to be. I have a lot of fun playing in this area. Point D is also in a very strategic point on the map. It's right in between C and E. It's a highly contested area, so it's a good place to have, to own, to have captured. There's almost too much fortification to be done by one person. You're almost likely to be killed before you can finish off the whole thing, so I do recommend a squad of you putting up these fortifications. Right over there you can see is E. We'll get to that point shortly after I finish showing you guys all these fortifications. There's really a lot to be done here at D, but it can be worth it in the end. I do believe blocking off all entrances is the main thing to do, is a must. You block off this entrance right here to E and you block off the entrance coming in from C. And you use, you use these walls right here. Reinforce these walls. Make it harder for them to attack you from, make it harder for them to take D from you. So this is the final point E, the last point on the map, the last flag. This is to the right of D, more east than D is. It's close, the closest point to the enemy spawn because we started on the opposite side of the map. Not too much fortification can be done here, you can only really block off this entrance right here. For everything else you want to use the planes and whatnot to use as cover to hide behind. Um, this is the front of E, I just want to show you guys a little bit of the area. There's not much I can show you of E or talk about E because there's, there's not much to it, it's small. Only one fortification and that's that front door and the rest is an open area. It's similar to C because it's a warehouse but it's easy, a lot more easier to access. So I'm just showing you some gameplay of D and some extra stuff. So right here is F. Similar to E, not too much that can be done here. Not an area that much people fight over. It's actually hard to get to because it's surrounded by open area. So you're going to get shot before you get here unless you want to crawl the whole way here. Or get sniped. But I actually made it here and this is at the end of the map. You don't know how long it took me to get here but I made it here. So if you enjoyed the video push that like button. Hit that subscribe button for more content like this. I'm doing one of every map and that's me the Calm Kiwi.